Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. And 15 PCA. Native 454. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at C15 Podcast. So a lot of video games this week. Uh, Rage 2 yeah. had its trailer, and it looked pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Nice. A post-apocalyptic world. Mad Max meets Borderlands meets Doom. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much the what it looks like to me. Maybe a sprinkle a little bit of Destiny sprinkles on it. Yeah. And you have Rage 2. Yeah, I really like the the combat with the vehicles. I the, think that looks so That's cool. always been a big part of Rage. I don't remember if I played the first Rage. It's such a long time ago. But, yeah, it's like that dystopian future and asteroid landed. It, so uh, people separated themselves into tribes a la Mad Max. Yeah. And yeah. now everyone's just fighting over territory and whatnot. And whatever they want. And this trailer, you know what I liked about this trailer? It showed a whole bunch of gameplay. Yeah. We don't get that anymore no. with video game trailers. No, you had a quick little talk from the main character, and boom, you went right into the world. And lots of cool guns. Looks like there's like mech suits. There's a uh, armored yep. vehicle combat. And you saw like um, a melee attack where it was like a palm push right out of Destiny. Oh yeah, yeah. right out of a warlock. And then you got like a weird double jump. It's like ah, exactly. you can see Throwing those things that complain about, but everything else looks so cool. You didn't care. And the fact they didn't emphasize it like Call of Duty did. Oh, this is something original. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. See, they didn't say that in this trailer. It just. It just did a little bit of uh, exposition telling you about the world. Yeah. Then it was just like a music video of Carnage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this is going to have a single player, correct? Yeah, that's a, yeah, this is, this is going to single player, multiplayer. Yeah, it's a traditional oh, okay. game. It's a traditional game, so. Yeah, it's not a game as a service. It's just, And they said there's not going to be little loot boxes or anything in this. Oh, that's cool, Which man. is cool. Yeah. yeah. And Bethesda, they always do a good job with that. Like, you know, being a very, um, I want to say consumer fan-centric game company. Yeah, yes, they'll sell yeah. you the old school way. They'll do DLCs, which yeah. is fine. Map packs, Max, uh, yeah. expansions. yeah. yeah. Yeah, but this game looks fun. This looks like this would be a nice holdover for me till Borderlands Three. Yeah, or uh, Anthem. Yeah, all right, definitely. That's that's that's. The I wish we would have got some more gameplay footage of Anthem. We haven't seen anything besides what we've seen. Well, if he's coming up, we literally yeah. saw more footage of Rage Two in this trailer than we did of all of Anthem. Oh, yeah, and it's been. But um, oh, wow. yeah, like the weapons look pretty cool. I'm wondering if there's going to be customization with the weapons. Is it going to be uh, loot based? Like randomized weapons, yeah. Or those are gonna be set. Like, it, like I literally don't know how they're gonna do this, but I want another game where I can chase loot because Destiny just Destiny Two just let me down. Yeah, yeah. There's and, no loot based game for me right now, and that'd yeah. be really cool. Because you imagine like having like oh, the old Destiny game where like oh you have to do this really hard mission, but if you do it, you get this weapon. Or yeah, you get this armor. I wonder how much of that's gonna yeah. be in here. Yeah. If we're gonna be just a straight up. And they also threw something that looked like almost something out of like that that weapon from Krill. It has like that spinner. Yeah, yeah, face. like from uh, from Krill. Krill, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the little death disc thingy. This thing, yeah. <laughs> face. And again, like a lot of these weapons look like improvised weapons. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah, yeah so you have like all these like crazy people with uh, rocket launchers and grenades. And it looks, looks cool. Yeah. Definitely uh, action packed. And they have like so. these big monster yeah. things that look straight out of like uh, Gears of War and Doom. Yeah, big old monsters. They look like a, like a Brumach. Yeah. Yeah. From uh, Gears. But yeah, yeah, I'm wondering, um, is there going to be co-op? Well, that'd be cool. Because oh, that's, that's the so cool awesome. thing about Borderlands is it was the co-op. And so you can build your character totally different, then your buddy can build his character totally different, and you work good Well, together. maybe this will mm-hmm. be the, the game that syncs up everyone at E3. Yeah. You know? And everyone's, oh, this looks cool, you know? They might think, think this is a good game. Well, yeah, because then how much cool would it, how cool would it be if, like, so yeah, you're the good sniper, you're the up guy up front guy and then you have a guy that's the actual driver, so he's actually good in the vehicle. Yeah, I wonder how much of that's yeah, going to come like, into play. Because that'd be really cool. Like, are you going to... Is there... I don't... It's been so long. Was there a skill tree system or anything? I, you know, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't it, know if I'm, I'm going to... I'm pretty... I mean, I wish it would have showed that, like, a quick little two seconds. Oh, okay, you get the An inventory. Character. Inventory. Yeah, they didn't inventory. show that. But I will like the fact that all of the characters look all different. Like, one of these... Some look like sci-fi. They look straight up, like, out of, like, a fantasy scene. Or even, like, yeah, Conan the Barbarian. Barbarian, Barbarian. Yeah, Barbarian. yeah, with the arrows and stuff. Like, that's cool. And then you look at have some Fallout guys that somehow met up there. <laughs> it's like yeah, I like that. I like the fact there's different blending of different things. What, like, they look different. Yeah. What I liked about Borderlands was, even though there was, like, uh, let's say there's three different characters, but there's three different paths that make those characters completely different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, technically, you have three characters built into each character. Yeah. Because you could play, you know... Um, like the sniper guy, you like full long range, or you can do more to where you use blood wing a lot more, and you're more up close and personal. I like the idea that you can have all these different ways to play. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, there's a skill tree system and stuff like that because I like gaining levels and yeah. building my character. And, I just... and it's funny because this is gonna bring out a lot of games when they do. They're usually quality. They yeah. don't bring out bad games. They just don't. Mm-hmm. And Those this are... again, this has a lot of polish. It looks really yeah. good. So hopefully. Um, like the footage he showed, hopefully that's all in game running on normal uh, PS4. But it looked like it did, though. Yeah, I, mean, I hope yeah, it wasn't running on a super high end PC. Yeah, yeah. So 
Um, again, if they give me the choice over 60 frames per second or 4K, I'll take the 60 frames per second. I'm sorry, I'm a 60... Maybe you can call me a 60 frame snob, but I like my games at that. Yeah. Especially shooting games. I yeah. just do. You, you, sometimes you feel like... I know it's not that much of an edge, but sometimes you feel like it gives... Oh, you it's so amazing. Yeah. It just plays so And amazing. on the PC, you can get like 120 frames. Oh, yeah. Ridiculous. Oh, that's insane. I can only imagine. I never played 120 frames. I can only imagine. Just by seeing it, it looks great. But uh, definitely another cool game to look forward to. Um... When again E three around the corner, we'll probably get some more like demo walkthroughs of like the actual people playing the actual game. Yeah. yeah. So because again during this whole thing, you didn't see a HUD or anything. No. So hopefully they just you know that's actual gameplay. They just took the hood away. Yeah. It's just to give you more of a cinematic look. Yeah. But uh, definitely on the radar for uh, a game I didn't expect to get made in a totally yeah. Game. So yeah. hopefully it's going to be pretty cool. Yep. Yep. Crimson Sin here. Thanks for watching and be sure to like, sub, and share. Also, for the most up-to-date information about the podcast, follow us on Twitter at C15Podcast.